at the state capitol where Governor Asa Hutchinson said this first presumptive case is triggering a number of important initiatives for the state. Jay. Yeah, that's right, Donna. The governor actually issuing an executive order to declare a public health emergency. And he says if the virus does end up spreading, then other plans of action will kick into effect. But he didn't really get into those today because he says the atmosphere isn't uh, necessarily right to discuss those as of yet. Uh, governor Hutchinson also stressed that the state will not be shutting down and it will carry on operations as normal. And there's not a need to do uh, all our work remotely. There's not any need to disrupt our state services. Our business will continue as usual. Uh, but we are prepared in the event that there is a necessity of it uh, to go into uh, uh, more remote operations to continue uh, state services. Governor Asa Hutchinson and his cabinet addressing plans of operation for coronavirus in Arkansas after a presumptive positive case turned up in Pine Bluff. The report of the first presumptive positive case in our state was not unexpected in that over 30 states have already reported cases, including most of the surrounding states. On top of declaring a public emergency, the governor said he is limiting out-of-state travel for state employees. There will be no out-of-state travel without the approval of a cabinet secretary. It's not a complete travel ban because we want to continue business. We want people to continue doing business with Arkansas. Many states have either banned or severely limited large public gatherings. Hutchinson sees no need for that in Arkansas. In Arkansas, with the uh, limited exposure that we have with uh, one case, uh, only one case that is presumed uh, positive, there's not any need for uh, uh, canceling events. Uh, I do not see any need for canceling school activities. The most important thing that officials want people to know right now is this is currently an isolated case. We don't have evidence of spread within the Pine Bluff community or uh, cases elsewhere in the state. The governor also mentioned that airports in the state uh, have their own health screenings and their own uh, mechanisms in place should they need to change operation. Also, the federal government will probably have some input if they do decide to change some of those operations to any of the airports in the country, uh, let alone in the state of Arkansas. Also, too, uh, their commercial labs will be helping out the expediting of some of these testings, and they will continue to do so until the uh, State Department can uh, handle the quantity that is needed. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burr. Fox 16 News. All right, Jay, thank you. And the governor stopped by our studio in the last hour. He wants to ease the fears of Arkansans after hearing about this first possible positive COVID-19 case in the natural state. We have to be calm about this and, and recognize that, again, there's low risk across the state. We only have had one presumed confirmed case. Mm -hmm. We're going to be testing more. We need to take this a day at a time and be very careful about it. So with that in mind, the governor says the patient in Pine Bluff has been quarantined. Fox 16's Hillary.